Hey guys, this is Eric Tracer, and I'm here today to show you what the difference is between automatic and normal triggering modes. I have a 3000T X-Series oscilloscope sitting in front of me. We'll be using this to show you the difference between the two triggering modes and also some applications on where you'll use them. So the difference between automatic and normal triggering modes, quite simply, is with automatic triggering mode, the trigger will be forced even if the trigger conditions are not met versus in normal triggering mode, the trigger will never be forced unless that specified trigger event occurs. So generally you'll use the automatic triggering mode if you don't know what your signal looks like, and thus you don't care and you want to acquire everything regardless of triggered events occurring or not. Versus if you're looking in the normal triggering mode, you want that specific trigger event and you don't care about anything else. Let's take a closer look at what this looks like on our 3000T X-Series oscilloscope. So what we see here in this view is me directly connecting the 3000T X-Series oscilloscope to my computer. In the left window, we have our screen with the sine wave subsequently loaded onto the scope. And the right side are our hard keys, which are located to the right side of the instrument. I'm able to access both of these via direct connection through the web browser using our LAN VGA card plugged into the back of the oscilloscope. So what we notice on our screen in the top right corner, it says auto, which signifies we're in automatic triggering mode. To change that triggering mode, we can do so a variety of ways. On the dedicated hard keys on the right side of the instrument, we can access the trigger mode coupling menu button. This will update the soft keys at the bottom, and we simply select the first soft key, mode auto, to change the mode to normal. And you'll see it now says triggered in the top right, which signifies we're triggering on an actual event, which is a standard edge trigger hovering around 50%. If we want, and we have a touchscreen on one of our InfiniVision oscilloscopes, we can simply select where it says auto and change the oscilloscope mode from auto to normal that way. So now, if we use our trigger knob located on the right side of the instrument and scroll all the way to the top of our waveform, take notice to where it says auto. We are now not triggering on any event and thus the trigger is now being forced, hence it has auto with a question mark. Same vice versa as we scroll to the bottom of the waveform. The question mark disappears since we're triggered on an actual event, which is our sine wave. And once we drop below the waveform, we no longer are triggering on an event, and hence the trigger is being forced. So let me 50% out this trigger level. So now let's take a look at our normal triggering mode. We'll select mode auto at the bottom and then select normal. Notice where it said auto before in the top right, it now says triggered. This indicates we're triggering on an actual event, which is our standard edge trigger happening at about 50% of the waveform. So let's likewise use that trigger level knob and adjust that trigger threshold level. First, we'll bring it to the top of the waveform we see the waveform scrolling as we're sampling along different points of the trigger level. And at the very top, we stop sampling the waveform because we're no longer triggering on a specific event. Now if we were to select single or run stop to start up the waveform, we no longer see it on our screens because we're not triggering on any event. And what we notice in the top right is triggered with the question mark, which means the trigger conditions are not being met, but no trigger is being forced, unlike the automatic trigger mode. So if we were to bring the trigger level down, so trigger conditions are met, we see the waveform show up on our screen and the question mark disappears. So just to recap, generally you're going to use the automatic trigger mode if you don't know what your signal looks like, and you just want to capture everything. In addition, it's good to use the automatic triggering mode for DC voltages. You 
You can't exactly edge trigger on a DC voltage, so automatic triggering is preferred versus the normal triggering mode where you only trigger on a specific event and you don't care about anything else. So now that we looked at the difference between both automatic and normal triggering modes, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop us a comment below or visit us online at www.keysight.com. Thank you for watching.